I'm Carl Benedict from the University of New Mexico Libraries in Albuquerque, New Mexico, here today to talk about our engagement with Dryad as part of our constellation of repositories with which we work for preserving and sharing research data at the university. The University of New Mexico has been active in the sharing and preservation of research data for quite a while now, starting with our implementation of a locally hosted DSpace instance for both data and university records and documents as a general purpose institutional repository. Starting in 2015, we also then started um, a charter membership with the Digital Preservation Network as a complementary preservation platform. But then as time went on, we eventually transitioned from our locally hosted DSpace instance to a number of hosted services, including transitioning our DSpace content into Digital Commons and also transitioning our preservation capabilities to LibNova's LibSafe and LabDrive system. Starting in 2017, we added Dryad into the mix as a more data-specific repository option for our researchers at the university. This progressive development of our preservation and sharing strategy has resulted in a current uh, state in which we have a flexible set of capabilities that complement each other uh, fairly effectively. As we look a little bit more deeply at the collection of repository elements that we have as a part of our system, we can see here the relationships between our core elements that I was describing just a moment ago. As a foundation for our system, we have, have LibNova's lab drive system that is the current platform for our digital preservation dark archive. This is um, uh, the new version of LibNova's preservation system uh, building upon the LibSafe system that we had previously been using. The platform allows for the development of uh, metadata and effective uh, preservation workflows that, as I said earlier, we are maintaining essentially as a dark archive for long-term preservation of our research data assets. For our public-facing repositories, we have two options depending on the nature of the content. We have Digital Commons um, as, as uh, hosted by BPress, which is primarily focused on the sharing of documents and media. Digital Commons was added to our collection of repository capabilities as an alternative to our previously locally hosted DSpace. And it was, uh, for some time, our primary institutional repository for all content, including research data. But as we worked with Digital Commons, we identified some additional needs that we had relating to specifically the characteristics and workflows associated with digital or with research data. And as a result of that, when the opportunity arose for us to uh, add Dryad as institutional members to our collection of repositories, we did so in 2017. This provided us with some key capabilities that we had been missing since we had transitioned out of DSpace, one of which was the availability of an application programming interface that allows us to automate the process of interacting with the repository and its corresponding metadata allowing us to work with large, complicated uh, collections of, of data and being able to streamline the integration management and ongoing um, use of the research data within our repository. 
our interactions with Digital Commons were largely based upon the Digital Commons OAI PMH uh, interface and Excel spreadsheets that are their primary means for handling bulk, bulk data submissions and updates. While that worked um, uh, very well for the document collections that were being brought into the system, in combination with the user interface, the need to potentially do bulk updates or bulk deposits um, were somewhat limited by this Excel-focused uh, workflow process. One of the capabilities that we are continuing to explore and work towards is using the Dryad API in conjunction with the APIs that are provided by LabDrive to develop more uh, automated processes for capturing metadata in one system or the other, um, adding uh, data corresponding to those metadata to one or the other system, and then being able to uh, synchronize or, uh, or pull or push data from one system to the other to meet our complementary preservation and uh, public access needs. The researchers that we work with also uh, periodically have code associated with their data. So we also are leveraging the integration that Dryad has with Zenodo for complementary preservation and sharing of uh, source code. But a number of our researchers also are primarily working in GitHub for, let's say, code-centric projects in which we also work with them through the integration between GitHub and Zenodo. So there are some additional pathways for um, data and code within our system, uh, primarily focused around the Zenodo integrations with both Dryad and GitHub. Specifically drilling down into Dryad's role in our overall system is the value of Dryad's integrated sharing and preservation capabilities. This provides an excellent option for um, sort of a one-stop shop for our research data and associated metadata that are going into the system. The curation model provided by and curation support provided by uh, Dryad is also highly valued because not all of our researchers at the university come through our research data services program as a part of their deposit process. And Dryad's curation workflows allow for a degree of assurance that somebody has, has reviewed the documentation and the data sets before they go live. So that's a, that's a valuable uh, capability that uh, Dryad brings to our system that, that complements the self-service model. Because as I mentioned, our researchers do not always seek out our services in our research data services program, but they will often, um, especially if they've previously been working with Dryad for publisher-related deposits, are um, uh, comfortable doing self-service deposits into the system, again taking advantage of Dryad's curation services. We're working on API-enabled repository interaction with Dryad, and we are looking forward to continuing to build on that capability in terms of developing automated workflows that provide some additional scale for working with large, complex data sets that may have multiple uh, uh, metadata documents associated with them that also may uh, be subject to periodic revision or updates. And of course, we come back to the, the role of Dryad as an existing platform that was already being used by a number of our researchers prior to the university's institutional membership. And that has eased our transition and continued to uh, allow us to expand our adoption of Dryad as a broader, more broadly used uh, data repository for our University of New Mexico research community. Our current activities related to Dryad and more broadly our preservation 
uh, strategies include some of these capabilities that I've already described in terms of looking at the interactions that we can leverage between our uh, lab drive, uh, dark archive digital preservation system, Dryad as our target um, public access, public discovery research data repository, and Zenodo as a complementary repository for um, code associated with data that are deposited into Dryad, or for some researchers, um, Zenodo as a repository for code that they have um, otherwise managed in GitHub and need to place into a repository for ongoing uh, preservation, discovery, and access. So what we're uh, really focusing on now is continuing to focus our researchers as they transition content into the system, supporting their use of the various repository components, and ultimately uh, being able to also leverage the interactivity between these systems through their respective application programming interfaces. As we look forward to our continued use of Dryad, we are looking towards uh, continued sustainability of our institutional membership in terms of transitioning from our current um, funding model in which we have been able to use fund from a, funds from a National Science Foundation um, funded project to cover our institutional membership, transitioning that support to funds from hopefully our research um, office in addition to the libraries and potentially others on campus. Um, further integration of workflows uh, of research data into the repository through our collaborations with our Center for Advanced Research Computing. Working with our stakeholders on campus to be able to leverage the application programming interfaces to develop more systematic analytics and reporting for the institution in terms of being able to extract information about repository content to support institutional needs and looking also forward to developing collaborative training and support with especially New Mexico State University, who is also a recent um, institutional member for the growing network of uh, institutions in the state of New Mexico that are Dryad members and being able to look at models for being able to collaborate and develop shared training and support capabilities across the state. If you have any questions about our uh, use of Dryad, you can contact me at kbene at unm.edu. Thank you very much.